All right, let's see what's going on here today. Um, Trump does not need to be tested for coronavirus per White House doctor. Hmm. Maybe he is immune to it. Let's see what they say. Uh, come on, hurry up and load. Trump does not need to be tested for the coronavirus per White House doctor. <clears throat> Reason being, the White House released a letter from the president, from President Trump's in-house physician, late Friday to quell fears that his boss is harboring a case of the deadly coronavirus, and possibly spreading it around the West Wing by remaining at work. Trump does not need to be tested for the disease or to be quarantined, wrote Dr. Sean Conley. Sean Conley. Isn't that an actor? Even though he briefly came out, came in contact with two people who later came down with the symptoms and tested positive. The president's exposure to the first individuals what, the first individual was extremely limited a photograph and a handshake and though he spent more time in close proximity to the second case all interactions occurred before any symptom onset, Connolly wrote. These interactions will be categorized as low risk for transmission per CDC guidelines, and as such, there is no indications for home quarantine at this time, he added. Trump will receive, only receive a coronavirus if he develops symptoms the letter, the letter stated. The president, however, said earlier Friday at a Rose Garden press conference that he would most likely be tested for the coronavirus fairly soon after a mar a -Lago meeting last weekend with several people, including members of an official delegation from Brazil who later fell ill. I thought handshaking was one of the things that they've been saying uh, is high risk physical contact because right here they say that uh, uh, his exposure was extremely limited only a photograph and a handshake that's physical contact and CDC per CD I'm so confused. I don't know, people. I don't know. I thought shaking hands, touching other people, I thought that was all considered high risk. Now they're saying otherwise. Um, let's see what else is going on here. Da-da-da-da. In the news. What's in the news? Um... Oh, somebody has 17,700 bottles of hand sanitizer and nowhere to sell them. Really? Well, why do you have that many bottles of hand sanitizer? And come on, dude, you could stand on a street corner and get those sold that fast. That fast. Amazon cracked down on coronavirus price gouging. Now, while the rest of the world searches, some sellers are holding stockpiles. Aww. Oh. Now, get off my page. Aw, oh, man. It won't let me see the whole thing. Well, basically, you can see this guy has a storage unit <gasps> with tons of hand sanitizer. He just went out and like bought a shit ton of it. Okay, let's see what else is going on in the news. Italians are taking it pretty well. Italians are singing songs from their windows to boost morale during coronavirus lockdown. Quarantined, Ita quarantined 
<clears throat> excuse me, Italian sing together from balconies. Well, that's awesome. They could do a musical or something. That's awesome. Um, let's see what else. No charges after drivers attempt to cross the French Broad River. I'm not going to open it, but I would. it would be safe to say that driving across water that's, you know, over like a couple feet or a foot deep isn't safe. I mean, let's open it. Now my curiosity has me. It's just not good. It seems fun, maybe, and exciting. But you get that water up in the engine and shit, not good. And depending on how fast the water is moving. Okay, um, this was <clears throat> Asheville Citizen Times, March 13th. Um, these people, well, where the heck did it go? Try to look at something and it. Sorry, guys. I don't know what happened here. Oh, come on. I had the page up. You saw it. Oh, there it is. Okay, so you see these two Jeeps. There's some people camping. Maybe that's their campground. Hot Springs Police Chief David Shelton never thought he'd have to warn anyone against the dangers of driving across the French Broad River. On March 10th, however, he found himself in that precise predicament. It utterly amazed me somebody would do that, Shelton said. Well, no shit. I mean, it's not smart. Hello? A call radioed in to Madison County 911 from Hot Springs Emergency. Medical crews reported that two Jeeps were in the river. Oh, come on. He's worked countless on countless drownings in the river in his nine years as chief. He feared that the March 10th call would add to that tally. I really, really want to get the message out there. To totally discourage this kind of action. We've been doing body recoveries. It could have been a really bad day. People just thrill-seeking could have lost their lives and the lives of responders. Yeah, don't, don't do that, people. What the hell? Come on. Jeez, please. Um... As you know, a lot of places are closing down. Disneyland, many people's um, concerts are being put on hold. Schools, um, universities, colleges are being a are asking students to take classes from home. I only have one question. A lot of these places say for, for two weeks or so. What's going to happen in two weeks? Is there something that we don't know about? In two weeks, is coronavirus going to be gone? Um, are they going to have a, a cure? What is the two-week mark got to do with anything? Shouldn't it be until further notice? I keep hearing two weeks. No, no concerts for two weeks. Uh, school's been... Put on hold or shut down for two weeks. Kids are being given an extra couple weeks for spring break. I don't... Do they know something we don't know? That's a dumb question. I'm sure they do. As toilet paper stock plunges... It plunges? Huh. I thought the price would be going up. Stay safe, everyone. Just sanitize, uh, reduce your contact with people, and be safe.